Hello GNSS Refill community. Um, here's a quick video about using the GNSS Refill command line Docker image. Um, the maintainers support this Docker image for the portability that it offers. Uh, for you as a researcher, you can run this reflectometry software without managing system and software level dependencies and environments. Um, but that's enough talk. It'd be much better to show you. So if we go to our main documentation page and we'll go on dockers and we'll show you installing the docker image from the github container registry so the first step is you're going to need to install docker on your local machine um, you can see links here for various operating systems and that'll send you to a page that looks something like this so after you do your install you recommend running this hello world test to, to check your installation and there's also some useful links, especially for the Docker desktop, which if you're less comfortable with a command line or terminal, uh, this offers a GUI interface. So now we'll go to run this Docker. To run the Docker, we'll uh, remember if most, a lot of the use cases depend on Earthscope data, so you'll want to create an Earthscope profile in advance. Um, now let's pull up a terminal window here. And it tells us to change into the local directory we wish to keep our process results. So I set up a directory at, uh, so this is just a placeholder. And this is empty right now, but so now we will copy and paste this run command. And just like that, we've now entered into this Docker container. Uh, the important thing to note here is we have added for you this uh, dash V, which is a volume mount. And what that allows you to do now is preserve files and, and data that's processed inside the container to your local uh, system. And that way you can not only view them, but you can also um, save them for, re for running this analysis again in the future and iterating on your science. Just to demonstrate how this works, we'll go through this activity that's part of the short course. Um, so we'll go through to run these exercise. So we can copy and paste this GNSS repo command. Uh, this will take a little longer because we're using the rapid orbits. And then you can see we're seeking permission to log into Earthscope. So I'll copy and paste this into a, uh, authentic into a different browser. And you can see this takes 15 seconds. It takes a little longer than normal while that token updates. Um, the, the, the successive times we run this, it will be much faster as that token is now valid. Um, and then finally, if we want to look at a uh, quick look, and this is important. So quick look, the key is here is we want to look at some plots, right? And so inside the container, it saved this to this specific path. Um, and what, if you remember when we did that volume mount, we mapped that path to a local directory. So if I pull up on a Mac, I'll pull up my finder window here, and you can see now in inside, this was the path that I ran the container from. It added this REPL code directory, and then a files and a station directory. And now I can see these are my quick look plots. So if I click on those, and now I can view those, um, and then equally importantly, this, you can see I have some SNR data, and these will persist after I now, I can now exit this Docker container, and I can even uh, remove the image, and the files will still exist, so I could re-enter this and, and continue my analysis in the future. Thank you.